Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality, lovers of truth, wisdom, knowledge, the pursuit of uh, the esoteric path and much needed peace and not being afraid to take the piss out of anyone and everyone who fucking deserves it. Yes, it's going to be a, um, a ranty video today. Here's, a, here's one from the Bar Humbug Files. And of course, I think um, YouTube has finally targeted this little channel. Um, they were screwing with my views um, during the first hour. They didn't move be beyond four, so I thought, fine, fuck YouTube. I won't, I won't go back to it for, well, till now. Um, so you two guys who actually have responded, you're fucking legends. Um, much appreciated. Uh, in a world of, of um, increasing um, censorship, um, yeah, that really does mean a lot to me. And uh, oh, I came up upon a video today. Um, oh, I suppose I'll mention the channel name. I don't really give a fuck. Well, what I'm in this mood? Yeah, I'm going to name names. Um, it was Undead Chronic and um, Warband. What is it with this thing about Warband? Um, but I'll get to that in a moment. Um, I think the video was something to do with um, I divorced my wife because because of uh, of her OnlyFans account, and it was t literally two or three minutes into the video where um, the comment was, "Oh, I'd rather go to um, to Thailand and get some honeys there." Right, and then of course I I, I um I, I left a um a comment using my Riff Muggles channel. Um, you know the, the the channel that most of these guys know know me by, and um, I'll actually quote it to you in a second. Ah, <laughs> oh, just wow, just wow! You guys are too busy take um taking the piss out of the feminists. Well, I'm I'm the one who's taking the piss out of you. My quiet comment was, right. Good idea. Go to a third world shithole and get an STD from some poor desperate woman because PUA guys can only think with their dicks. Way to go, for fuck's sake. Right? And that's a mentality that um, that has infected MGTOW these days. Well, for, for a while now, actually. Which is why many of us no longer use the um, the phrase, the, uh, the hashtag. Um, because it's filled with mindless slaves to their cock. Oh, I'll show you how to get a six-pack and get a six-figure income and be become even more attractive to women, so you can fuck to, so you can engage in mindless writing to your heart's content without a, without any consequences and no real fucking meaning behind it whatsoever. Great. Yeah, what a great, what a great way to um. To express the epitome of masculinity, right? We'll just make you mindless slaves to your dick. Fuck that pisses me off. And you know what? These kind of guys, I detest them as much as I do feminists, right? Because they're the biggest fucking hypocrites in the world. You understand? Which is why I've been a lone wolf um, for, geez, going on two and a half years now. <laughs> yeah, just about, I would say. Two years, I think. Um where I was in a certain gentleman's um, live stream. I actually was unwrenched twice. <laughs> um, oh, he even used the excuse of, um, oh, it must have been a problem with the first time around. Oh, it must have been a problem with the settings or something. No, um, I'm just a, 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 a sarcastic, eccentric, outspoken lone wolf who doesn't give a fuck. Who has nothing to lose. Those are the most dangerous kind of men on YouTube. If I say so myself. Yeah, there are a few of us out there. We're the one whose um, channels are being suppressed by the um, by the YouTube Gestapo. Right? But, um, yeah, there was this gentleman's um, channel. I used to be a mod, a mod on. And he unwrenched me for no reason at all. Um. And that was around the same time when some Bible, Bible, Bible fucking gobshite decided to um, start spouting Bible in the live stream. And as a monarch, I go, look, please refrain from doing such things. 
not everyone in in here is, is a Christian or um even respects or um acknowledges the Bible for anything other than a piss taking exercise. He kept going, and of course I sort of put him in timeout. And of course all the guys in in, in the live stream. Oh, what happened to so and so? Oh, who banned so and so? Oh. And I thought, you know what? Fuck all of you. I'm out of here. And I've been lone wolf ever since. Um, because most of these guys don't actually give a flying fuck about their fellow men. Right? At all. Many of them just pretend they do for um, to stroke their own little fucking ego minds. Okay? Um... There's two, maybe three guys I still have full, full respect for. Um, one of them even um, reaches out occasionally with comments and um, archaeology links on uh, on Discord. So, brother, you know who you are. You're a fucking legend. Um, where do you get those wonderful um, article links? <laughs> fucking hell. They're brilliant. Um, but... Uh, yeah, un unfortunately, we're surrounded in, quote-unquote, the manosphere by mindless slaves to their dicks. It's like, okay, right. Um, you find some willing, compliant, brain-dead um, harpy, and um, you um, you use her mucusy hole for a few um, moments of pleasure. Then what? In the words of um, Sonny from the film Grease, so what are you supposed to do with her for the other 23 hours and 45 minutes of the day? <laughs> um, and of course, these guys, you, 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 you see them, you know them, you, you see the kind of channels I have. Um, let me help you get a six pack and thereby becoming more attractive to females and becoming an even more, a great, greater simp because that, that's what, that's what this is, simping, all right? You're still doing, making all this effort, expending all this energy and r resources to to worship at the altar of the great golden vagina. All right, that's high level simping right there. So I have no respect for, for these assholes. I will continue to call them out till my dying breath because they they are as much as much a cancer as feminists. Right. So really, these days, MGTOW is synonymous with um, PUA. Really? Which part of men going their own way is difficult to fucking actually understand? I mean, I lost online friendships uh, because of it. Because of the double standard. I'm sorry, but I'm going to call it out. I don't, I, don't, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care how butthurt you get. All right? And another thing from the what chases me off files. Um, here in this um, penal colony called Australia, um, in this state called New South Wales, uh, you had people gathering, s signing a petition, 15, I don't know how many signatures I got, 15,000, whatever, to have our freedoms taken away again because of some mythical variant in for some non-existent scamdemic let that sink in for a moment people were begging to have their freedoms taken away and these are the fucking cunts who are allowing this totalitarian bullshit to come in globally because most people are fucking cowards mindless brain dead compliant fucking cowards and they thought ooh if you all get the double jab Oh, we'll have our freedom again. And how's that working for you? Uh, and um, all the side effects and all the bullshit you went through together, double jabs, have now been ruled invalid because you need the next booster. And the next booster. And on and on and on. Ad infinitum. Right? Meanwhile, those of us who are pure bloods and weren't sucked in by any of this shit sitting back like Nelson from The Simpsons going, ha ha. Because we knew from the start, this is all fucking bullshit. It was all a scam. 
It was all a lie. And most of you fucking cunts fell for it. Oh, if we're all... Oh, you're selfish. Um, no, we're just reminding you that you're being lied to and how precious freedom actually is. And so, on this 20th of December, which I don't really give a fuck about Christmas whatsoever, I could not care less about Christmas right now if I tried. Um, after 17 years of dealing with the public, um, where they show, that they've shown me for 17 years what human nature, what people are really like during this so-called festive season, right? Um, and um, my views will probably go down to a 9 or 10, yeah. whoop de doo <laughs> In the words of um, the wedding singer. <laughs> um, but that and... Um, wandering alone in the mall on Christmas Day, two, two years in a row. Um, yeah, that kind of kills your spirit as well. Um, where you end up finding the one um, Asian-run cafe which is open um, and the only people gathering and having any kind of fun are the um, the angry Yugoslav chess players <laughs> at the time <laughs> um, you know when the chessboard area was awesome and before they fucked it up with their re multi-million dollar useless refurbishment <sighs> but I digress um, so yeah, those two things kind of kills your festive spirit dead, right? Um, even, especially now, especially the, this scamdemic absolutely killed it dead. It's dead on arrival. My, my, my festive spirit is dead on arrival right now. Um, because people are selfish, clueless, snitching, cold-hearted, mean-spirited assholes. For the most part, you do have some nice people, but they're very, very few and far, be far between. Um, so don't be afraid to call out fuckery of, of any kind when you find it, because it really is the only way. It's the only revolutionary thing we have left. Speaking the truth, um, no, it won't get you put, um, views or likes or subs, or your your channel won't take off at all. Um, my channel stuck at uh, it's down to 81 subs, and that's the way it's going to remain. I know. Um, but so be it. Um, and an alternative platform like BitChute, yeah, I've tried it. It's full of um, weird Jew-hating, um, white supremacist, sort of Abrahamic gobshite weirdos. Uh, I didn't last there long at all. But whatever. Um, I'm going to continue being the um, the lone wolf, um, speaking the truth. And fuck them um, and to yeah and I've never felt this more than right now to speak the truth is a lonely path the um, lone wolf on guitar out <laughs>